Hey y'all, I hope you're doing well. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a fingerless glove with like a mitten option. So basically you can flip down the top and it's fingerless gloves. And then if you want it to be a mitten, you just kind of pull it back together and there's like a little button clamp. So this is an easy tutorial, but it does have a few steps to it. So stick around if you want to learn how to do this. I used the Bernat Soft and Chunky yarn and an eight millimeter crochet hook to complete this project. Now I will say that this is probably for my beginners, intermediate, so you just have to follow along if you're a real beginner, beginner, but I think you can catch on. Go ahead and start by making yourself a slip knot and placing that on your eight millimeter crochet hook. And we're gonna make a foundation chain. In this case, we're doing 12, I'm sorry, we're doing 20. We're doing 20, um, 20 stitches in our foundation chain. But again, this is customizable in that you just put it around your wrist, making sure that it fits nicely. If you need to make it a little bit long, larger, do so, make it smaller, you can also do that too. But this particular glove is gonna fit um, a medium size, um, medium size large hand, okay, for female. So once you have your foundation chain completed, you're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the very first stitch and you're going to make a circle. Yarn over and pull through. So basically we will be working this into the round, but it's not difficult guys if you just follow along with the screen. Once you have your um, circle created, go ahead and do a chain of three. And that chain of three is going to count as your very first half double crochet stitch, okay? So in your next available stitch, your next available space, yarn over, insert your crochet hook, and then pull back through, yarn over again, pull through the bottom three. That is a half double crochet stitch. And we're gonna do a half double crochet stitch in each stitch around for a total of 20. Now remember that chain of three did count as your first half double crochet stitch, so you should be making 19 at this point. Okay, so again, yarn over, insert your crochet hook into the next stitch, pull back through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. These are half double crochet stitches. And really that's all we're gonna be doing. We're gonna alternate between using a half double crochet stitch and a single crochet stitch. And the only thing that's gonna alternate a little bit is where we place our crochet hook and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So pause your work if you need to and finish working. And then you should be back to where I am here where we're about to join the round together. So I have one more half double crochet stitch to create. Okay, and then here, once you have a total of 20, into that initial chain of three, I did three, that way you could really see where we're putting that um, crochet hook. Go ahead and do a slip stitch. So just insert the crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through. So that creates your initial um, base for your glove, okay? Go ahead and chain two. That's your first single crochet stitch. Now we're gonna do a row, a round of single crochet stitches into the back loop only. So if you turn your work to the side, you'll be able to see like a small V. You're gonna work into the back side of that V. I'll show you here. See there? And you're gonna do a single crochet stitch in the back loop only all the way around this round. Now, we are going to alternate between a half double crochet stitch and a single crochet stitch through this first initial part of the project. And I'll stay on camera for a little bit, but I'll, I'll set you free and then you can go. This is a, a long video, but I'm trying to get you started on each area. Okay, so this is what it should be looking like and it really creates a nice little textured look which is the reason why we're working into the back loop only. All right, once you have that round complete, slip stitch to join and then chain three. Now you will be doing half double crochet stitches in the back loop only. Again, we're alternating between the single crochet stitch on one round and then a half double crochet stitch in the next round, but we're working in the back loop only. Okay. It really does add nice texture to the glove. You don't have to work into the back loop if you don't want to, but that's up to you. So pause the video if you need to, keep working until you get all of round, all the way up to round nine completed, alternating all the way through, okay? Once you get all nine rounds completed, that should be a 
about five inches. Um, like I said, yours could vary if you're making it customizable, but mine came out to be about five inches in height, in the height, okay? Now at this round, you're gonna, this is round 10, you'll chain two, and we're gonna do half double crochet stitches until you get to your 18th stitch. We're gonna make the thumb hole, guys. Okay, and we're going straight into the stitch. We're not working into the back loop at this point. We're just doing half double crochet stitches all the way around until you get to the 18th stitch. See, so this is what it should look like. Pause your video and keep working. Okay, so now we have two stitches left. We're gonna do a chain of two. That's gonna create a nice little space into that first stitch that we created, that chain of um, three that we created earlier. You're gonna slip stitch into that, leaving a nice little space for your thumb. Perfect. Now again, if you have a larger thumb, you could do leave three spaces open. If you have a smaller thumb, you could lose, leave one, one space open. Okay, chain two and continue doing half double crochet stitches all the way around. So basically, once you get to the thumb hole, you're only going to be doing half double crochet stitches. We're not alternating anymore between the single and the double, mainly because that part won't be seen if you're wearing it as a mitt, as a mitten. <laughs> so once you work all the way around, right into that space where we left the hole earlier, you're going to work right into that space, putting two half double crochet stitches. That's going to equal up to the 20 stitches that we need to complete everything and make it still stay even. I hope that made sense. So once you get back to that space, that open space that we created earlier, you're going to just do two double crochet, I mean, sorry, two half double crochet stitches in that space. Okay. Now at this point, you're going to continue working round 12, 13, and 14, just doing half double crochet stitches all the way around. When you get back to the beginning, that chain of two, slip stitch to join. Okay? So pause your video if you need to, and then continue working until you get to round 14. Okay? So you still have your little thumb hole area. Okay, once you get all of your rounds completed, you're going to slip stitch to join, and then we're going to just do a round, round 15 of slip stitches. That's just going to bring all of our work together a little bit um, snugger, because that's going to be around our fingertips. So just do a round of slip stitches. Slip stitching is simply inserting your crochet hook, pulling back through, pulling back through your loop. Again, like I said, this is more for my beginner intermediates so you have to probably know a few stitches in order to get through this project without going back and checking out some of my other videos okay once you get all the way around go ahead and fasten off your work you see there now we're going to work on constructing the thumb here is a tip if you want to pick up a smaller crochet hook maybe even a 6.5 millimeter if you have a seven pick that up it might be easier to work through these stitches but I did it with my size 8 millimeter fine it's just a, a option for you okay once you attach your yarn to a part of the circle whichever part of the thumb area that you want you're going to do single crochet stitches all the way around the thumb area so there's no real rhyme or reason to this only because your stitches are not going to be so easily visible but I ended up placing about seven or eight stitches around just whatever you do, however many stitches you end up having to place around your thumb, just keep that number in mind because then when you do your other glove, you'll probably do the same number of stitches too, okay? So again, just around that circle, we're just kind of manipulating it around that circle, we're gonna do, I did seven single crochet stitches. And at this point, we're just building up the thumb area and it's not, difficult it's just you have to kind of work and find little spaces to place your crochet hook because it's not um, all the stitches aren't evenly placed because we're actually creating that look and by this being a chunky yarn guys you won't feel you won't really see any imperfections okay so pause your video here and keep working you're just going all the way around creating single crochet stitches and this is what it should start looking like 
Okay, my t my thumb hole area measured to be about two inches or so, and I did a total of probably about six rows. So six rows of single crochet stitches all the way around, and this is what it's gonna start looking like. You just, main thing here, again, customizable project, you wanna just make sure that you get your thumb area up to the part of your thumb you know so that it covers your thumb so in my case it was I think about six rounds um, but yours may be a little different depending on the size hand that you're creating this for and again my size hand is probably about a medium to large but I'll put the measurements of my actual hand over on my website okay so that's what it's starting to look like now right here at the very end, I didn't really need a full single crochet stitch, so I'm just gonna slip stitch around just to add just a little bit more height to the thumb area. I didn't want it to be too bulky or too much space above my thumb. So I just did a row of half, I mean of slip stitches. Okay, so that's up to you when you put it on, you try it on if you're making it for somebody, just keep that in mind. Um, I did um, six rows and then I did one row of slip stitches. That just gave it a little bit more height so that way when I sewed everything together, it fit perfectly over my thumb. Okay, and just go all the way around and remember if you did if you did seven around, you're gonna be doing seven half double crochet. I mean, you're gonna be doing seven slip stitches all the way around. I hope that's not too difficult. Okay. All right, once you have that completely gone, once you've gone all the way around, you can try it on again, just making sure that everything, see how your thumb is completely covered? That's exactly what you want. So at this point, you can kind of fasten off. Leave yourself a nice little tail though, because at this point, we're gonna sew the finger hole up, the thumb hole up. So all you need to do is just chain, um, get your yarn needle, and you're going to kind of sew around the thumb, weaving in and out. So in and then out. Basically, it's gonna allow it to cinch up and then you can kind of sew across. So there's, this is kind of crude. I've never <laughs> claimed to be the best sewer in the world, but I just did in and out, going in and then under, so that I was able to kind of stitch everything together and make it look really neat. Um, and I typically like to sew off camera, that way I can have it kind of angled better off the camera but I tried to stay on as much as I could here so that you guys can see it. Again, I tried it on just to make sure that all the holes were sealed up nicely. Okay, so this is what it looks like. If you wanted to just have a fingerless glove, you could use it just like that. Now, if you have any imperfections, any large holes for whatever reason, just use your yarn needle, some more of your, um, your yarn, and just kind of cinch up any gaping holes because, of course, these are supposed to make your hands warm and you don't want large holes everywhere okay so now we've completed our fingerless glove portion let's go ahead and create the mitten portion in this section you are going to need to know how to do a magic circle you create your magic circle and then do a chain of three okay and then in your magic circle that chain of three counted as your first half double crochet stitch and then you're gonna do nine more half double crochet stitches into the circle so that you have a total of 10. I hope this isn't going too, too fast, but like I said, if you're an intermediate beginner crocheter, then I think you'll be able to catch on. Like not beginner, beginner, but you know, like you've done a few projects. Okay, once you have 10 half double crochet stitches completed, you're going to pull your magic circle together, slip stitch to join so that you have a nice full circle. You're gonna then do a chain of two, and then you're gonna do a half double crochet stitch, two in the same spot. So remember that chain of two counted as your first half double crochet stitch. In that same spot, you're gonna do another half double crochet stitch. Then you're gonna continue doing two half double crochet stitches all the way around for a total of 20. And this is your only increase round. 
that you'll be doing for this mitten. You only had to increase from the 10, the initial 10 to 20, by just doing two half double crochet stitches in the same spot. Okay, once you've done that, just do a chain of two and then do a half double crochet stitch in every stitch around. And you'll continue doing this until you get to round eight. So I did eight rounds of this guy. So this is your third round because you've already did two. You're doing your third one now. So you're gonna work another five, okay? So this is what it will look like. Very easy, this is easy guys. <laughs> you wanna slip stitch to join. And then you're gonna do a slip, one round of slip stitches. Again, that just makes everything really neat, pulls everything together. And guys, really, that is pretty much it. I am gonna show you a little bit more, but now that you have the mitten part of your glove, the only, only thing you have to do is attach it to your other glove. But I do have a really big tip for you guys. So don't go away, I'm gonna tell you my really big tip. When you finish going around with your um, slip stitches, go ahead and fasten off, leaving yourself a nice little tail so that you can attach your mitten to your glove okay so what you'll do is you'll just lay your glove flat on the on the surface that you're working on making sure that it's facing in the right direction and you're going to just attach it basically just take your yarn needle and just sew probably around three or four stitches worth so that it attaches just like you see here I used a button which is completely optional and I made a little loop which also is very optional so that it all stays together now I use these gloves I would think just more of a decorative thing I wouldn't know if you could do a snowball fight with them so if you stuck around this long here is my most important tip most important tip guys make sure you attach your gloves in a way that you would have a left glove and a right glove as you can see here my construction <laughs> i literally made two gloves in the same direction meaning that when you take off the little top or the little hat you would would not be able to use them on opposite hands. So when you lay out your gloves to attach the top, you wanna to just make sure that you have a right glove and a left glove and you attach it accordingly. This is what it looks like on. It is a glove. <laughs> it is absolutely a glove, guys, and um, I'm gonna stay mature. So this is what it looks like as a glove. Very cute, very stylish, very easy to create, guys. Um, very customizable. But just again, make sure you make a right and a left. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful. Any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.